Okay, so with the Blazer front brake upgrade, I had to get new brake lines because the Blazer brake line won't work. And then the brake lines that were on the original S10 uh, brake spindle, <laughs> they were, they was made pops, trust me. So I went with the original um, S10 spindle, not the Blazer spindle brake line, because this part's the same, but this part is different on the Blazer. So where it screws into the brake line, it wouldn't fit. And I wasn't gonna go and rerun brake lines. I ain't, I ain't got that kind of. I ain't got that kind of want to. All right. So this part right here is the correct piece I need to screw into my original brake line, and this will work as well. Let's get after it. Oh, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the the front spacer back on. That way it's just on there permanently. I'm never taking it back off. So that's the plan. See how this goes. Blazer front brake. Who these things look rough. Probably need new rotors here in a little while, but I ain't worried about that right now. Let's go ahead and put this on and get it out of the way. All right, now that it's got the perfect torque spec, let's move on to this brake. Oh, I need a pry bar. Crap. And y'all keep an eye on where this spring goes because I'm going to lose it. Oh, I didn't lose it. Ugh. Oh, let me show you. So that's the difference. This is, this is bigger than the original. Get that out of here. Okay. Where's that round spot at? Right there. Ugh. Oop, I had it. There it is. Get the clip on, cause it ain't in all the way. Hold up, hold up. There we go. I don't know if this is a good decision or bad, but it's been made. You know, when you film yourself, you learn some things about yourself as well. And I don't know if you noticed, but during that whole uh, wiring harness video, I kept sticking my tongue out like, bloop, 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 like a fucking lizard. So now I can't not think about it as I'm filming myself right now. Well, on another episode of Painful Lessons Todd Has to Learn, as you can see, the cab is back on the frame. I thought I was done with everything and all I had to do was put it back together. I was incorrect. Cab on, started laying the wiring back out and then I found this little guy. And I don't know if you can see that or how good it's showing up, but it's his gauge temp. I'm like, well, where does this go? Can't find it nowhere. Then I found this little guy. I don't know what this is. So I'm gonna have to go look this up. I have to go find it. I'm not sure what it is. But then I have this line, which they're pretty close to the same color, and it says AC request on it. So I gotta go look at that. But I looked at this up, and this goes to my temperature gauge in my instrument cluster. So I have an engine temp sensor down here, but this one apparently is what controls the gauge in the instrument cluster. Well, current performance says I need to pull this plug out and drill and tap for a temperature gauge. Well, I've already got my, you know, 
Rancho lift kit or body lift installed, which is just a four inch block. Give me enough room here. I'm gonna pull this out. I'm gonna drill and tap. Put that temperature sensor in I got. I discovered this like three days ago from the last video, but it's taking me three days to get the sensor, find the tap, and then find the drill bit that goes with it, which is obnoxious, because it's a 3 8 MPT, which requires a 37 64th drill bit. All right, it's in there. Drilled and tapped, screwed in and connected. 